Guys, my battery just ran out, and uh, my <laughs> well, my memory card's likely to fill up again soon. So. Grab a shotgun in front of a house like this. Oh. You're a very sweet looking girl when you're holding such a big gun. I know how to use it, mister. I'm sure you do. So how about pointing it over there in the direction of Hollywood instead of at me, Princess? You're quite the wise guy. Don't normally shoot women, Princess. How about putting the cannon down? Ah! <laughs> he punched her in the face. Didn't think you had the guts, sweetheart. I was never very good at reading. Monroe, where are you, damn it? Keep on going, Jack. Where are my, where are my guys, my helpers? Oh, God, 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 God. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Why is he using so many shots to kill this asshole? Oh, this is a huge magazine. Jeez. So, that's my opening negotiating position. Who you crazy son of a bitch? How did you get in here? Did you hear the shooting, you idiot? Please, death, get me a doctor. I thought I had an invitation, Monroe. Your boys outside were certainly expecting me. Oh. That's my second offer. <laughs> you sadistic bastard. What do you want? I'm going to take a look around, Monroe. Then I want you to tell me what you know about the mayor and those Trojan houses that you're building. Ah, oh, paper. Let's look at this first. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Remind me what they say about absolute power, Monroe. Fuck you, Jack. Uh, call me an ambulance already. He says fuck you and then he asks me to call an ambulance. I need to speak with you urgently. Sit down. Please, sit down. Tell me about the suburban redevelopment fund. Well, that must have just happened. Channel money to the development of new houses. Why is my name on the board of managers? Technically, you are a major contributor. Please call me. Sit down, sit Those down. <laughs> They're going to be burned for the insurance. That's a scandalous allegation. Do you have any proof? Jack Kelso, an investigator for California Fire and Light, has seen him. He was almost killed in the family. I don't know what to say. I feel that I have been duped. Who do you think is behind this subterfuge? Jack says it's a property developer named Monroe. Uh oh. He said it was all the way to the mayor. You cannot have believed that I was involved. I don't know what.
I hope that you won. Thank you for your trust. Hey, hey. Three more newspapers to go. Too bad I couldn't get all of them. Oh man, that's useful safe. <laughs> it's open. It's a hell of a payroll. I guess these are the people he um, he's paying off. That too. Smart. Keep the dirt on Fontaine under lock and key. This is your insurance. Yeah, that was the that was Roy, right, from the Vice Squad. I'm guessing Vincent's portfolio is only a fraction the size of yours, Monroe. That's it, huh? Let's have a little chat. Oh, we can't. Why? Why do I want to look in here? I don't want to look in here. I want to talk to him. There's just something I have to find. Yeah, what do I do now? There's something I have to find in here. It's not buzzing anymore, so I guess not. Roy Earl, yeah, it is Roy. I just wanted to check that. It's not buzzing anymore, that must mean there's no clues. What am I doing? What am I supposed to do now? Can I finally talk to him? <laughs> 